You can cross probe from a linked XDX designer schematic to a pad's layout design to perform schematic driven placement. Cross probing allows you to select components, nets, or pins in the schematic and have these same components, nets, or pins selected in pad's layout. For purposes of this demonstration, we'll click on this selection tab in the XDX designer link dialog and change the pad's layout zoom mode to none. For cross probing to work, ensure you leave the XDX Designer Link dialog open. In Pad's layout, we'll change our design grid to 50 mils by typing the modeless command G50. Next, we'll set our display grid to 50 mils by typing the modeless command GD50. Spread the component decals around the PCB outline in Pad's layout by selecting Tools. Disperse Components. Click Yes at the prompt to disperse the components. Click No at the Undo prompt. Note that the design components are spread out to the side of the PCB outline. This makes selection and placement of the components easier. Next, enable the Move Component Verb Mode by clicking on the Move button in the Design Toolbar. This ensures we're immediately able to place any component which is selected. In XDX Designer, select any component in the linked schematic. For our example, we'll select one of the pins of connector P2. Note that when we select connector P2, the corresponding component decal appears in the pad's decal preview window. When we return to pad's layout, we find the same component decal is already selected and ready for placement.